Hello guys, I'm Ahul here back again with another new video and today I have yet another react library like react components library now you're gonna say there are already too many react component library why another so this library is a little bit unique so they have the mobile first approach and they have support for react native as well as react web that means you can build apps for android ios and web as well and your ui will look consistent over every device so that is a cool thing right so let's get started with that so here is our today's website that is native base now in native base as you can see in their desktop, like not desktop in their landing page they have clearly mentioned a uh, mobile force accessible components for react native and react web and as i have said react native e native base is accessible utility first so another thing utility first util you like we know how much utility first is important like not important like how e easy it is to use utility first things in your code like uh, uh tailwind is a utility first library not library that is a css framework and how easy and great it is so it's here yet another utility force and uh, utility first component library that helps you to build consistent ui across android ios and web so great thing but i don't know why their website is sucking here <laughs> might be some problem but here you can see the responsiveness of the components here like how it will render it out now let's get straight to their documentation actually because at the end documentation matters a lot and uh, uh you if you if you can make a great app with it or not that totally depends upon the documentation so let's go to the documentation page and here you can see they have <laughs> created a little uh, mobile like interface to uh, preview every other element that they offer so here is an alert dialog boss or alert dialog or a badge component so let's get into the badge component and here you can see all of the badge components are here now this is clickable as well some of them are clickable some of them are not let's see another uh, okay here are the alert nodes here you can obviously interact with them as well and see how they are working or not and another thing they had that they have they you can change the light mode to dark mode to see the previews on pretty much every color not every color but in the two modes and uh, other devices as well so that's that's a great uh, thing to have here and here you can see all of the variants of the alert so yeah they have kept everything in mind like uh, as as far as i can see they have uh, kept not ev not everything everything is a big word actually they have kept most of the things in mind and created this library and uh, at the end of the day if you can override this library with your own styles that is also an option for you because why not every every brand is different and everyone needs need their different like style so obviously you can do that here is the theming process totally built into it so you can click on theming and let, let's get started with how you can change the theming themes and all so here are their primary colors and all and i think they will include how to override it or what yes customize theming here you can see how to override the whole theme and include your own colors so that's it and here is the installation guide installation guide is important because it have to be easy to install otherwise there is no there is no like use of it because working with a complex code is hard and it's not preferable at all so here you can see how easily they are creating stuff and all and installation and another great thing that they have done that i think 
every other library or framework should do it really really you should do it that is make a plugin make a extension for vs code most of the people in world use vs code for coding so make a genuine plugin or extension for vs code that supports your library because that solves a heck a lot of a problem for us developers like IntelliSense or automatic uh, tag detector those kind of things help us a lot so please keep it in mind that they have done here so they are like full points on this for them so they have done a great job rather than that there are uh, some other things as well installing expo projects install in react native project install in rings js project and install in create react app project as well so if you are familiar with create react app or if you know the parcel way of doing create react app obviously you can install it as well so that's it minions i love minions <laughs> whatever so that's it for this video please go to this video like go to this site site links will be in the description and see if this framework like not framework is this component library actually suits you or not and then let me know if you like all of those or not in the comment section and if you know about some of the great resource or open source library like this i don't know if it's open source or not but i'm assuming it's open source because it have the github repo obviously yes contribution guidelines so it's open source so some open source like these APIs, any development tips and tricks, let me know about all of them or design tricks and tips and tricks, startups, everything. Please let me know about all of them in the comment section so I can feature them in my future videos as well. And please do subscribe to my channel if you like my contents in general. So please bye for now.